But right now, live in the studio with me, celebrity hairstylist, TV media personality, and recording artist, you probably best know him for giving Paula Jones a makeover during the Clinton sex scandal and accompanying her to his deposition in Washington, D.C. because a girl's hair has got to be just right for a sex scandal, right? His famous clients include Pamela Anderson, Anna Nicole Smith, Stevie Nicks, Marilyn Manson, and many others. From TMZ, Todd TV, Home James, Bruno, and more, he has an album out called Sins, a brand new album he's dropping right now. Two hit singles, Take Me to the Other Side, Only Time Will Tell, and one we're going to be playing for our listeners tonight called XX Triple X. Please welcome Daniel DeCrisio to our show tonight. How are you doing? I'm doing fabulously. How are you doing? I'm doing awesome. Boy, it's like, is there anything you haven't done? And oops, <laughs> I think I missed the most important thing of all. You got a brand new movie coming out now too, don't you? Yes, it's called Hair. And this is at the IFS Film Festival in Beverly Hills and we won Best Documentary. Oh, is that recently? Yes. This was like a month ago. Oh, congratulations. Yes. So That's I was like, Whoa. Awesome. So who <laughs> is in the movie? What's the what's the premise of the movie? Well, the premise obviously is about hair and everyone's stories about their hair and uh -huh. They came after me because of my hair, you know, so they were like, talk about your hair and all your clients and stuff, so that was me, basically. And it's a documentary, then. Doc documentary style, definitely, yes. Are and any of your famous clients in it? Like no, just Rosario Dawson's in it, Deborah Skelton from Matt TV's in it, uh -huh. and the list goes on. Well, it's they're amazing. famous. Yeah, of yeah, course they are. people that are yes. known out there. Rosario, she's pretty big out there. So, that's how you got started, originally. Right, you were you were a hairstylist in Hollywood yes. or in Beverly Hills. In Beverly Hills, for Jose Bear, um, he hired me personally himself, and I assisted him for the first three months, believe it or not, because I came here from the East Coast, and I was like, Jose, look, you guys do hair such a different way. Can I watch or something first before? Because this was back, you know, the '90s, right. so they were doing big blowouts and stuff, and we didn't do that back then. So I ended up working with him. He goes, work with me, and I'm like. Oh shit. It's not like, oh no. So I'm going to be with him every day, right? So, first day of working with him, my first clients were Cher and her mother. Oh my God. And I'm from Wilmington, Delaware. Okay. So, and to me, that was just like, what so are you talking to Cher walks, about? In walks Cher, your first day at work, and you're going, uh, I was speechless. I'm like, what the hell do you talk to her about? Uh, I'm like, you know. Anything, because it's Cher, and I think she's probably one of the coolest. Oh, ladies. she's the coolest. We became friends, and yeah. she has my CD and all that. And oh, God, yeah. So she's really cool. And her mother was really nice, too, Georgia. Her mother's name is Georgia. Georgia Holt, Did she yes. have her kids with her, Elijah? And... No, no, no. She was. She would just come with her mother usually, or alone, Cher, you know, through the years. But yeah. First thing, yeah. Well, you actually have better hair than Jose. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's but why I'm not there had, anymore. I had to put that out there. The first thing I said when I when I saw your picture, which I obviously we talked about it before the show, that he, he I got some publicity shot and then I saw the picture on his album, I immediately switched it because I was like, <laughs> our fans on Rock and Sexy are going to want that. Well, and that goes with the show, baby. That, looks that like is show. super. Super <laughs> rock and sexy. Now, this album that you have is actually, excuse me, your first album. She's right? nervous. Uh oh, she's dropping it. No, actually, not <laughs> nervous, but I am a little dropsy. I am a little clumsy. How cute. So, the first album you had out is called Daniel. It's called Sin. It's on the oh, it's right side on the bottom there. Okay. It's red. And this is the album where Take Me to the Other Side and Only Time Will Tell is on. Right, Take Me to the Other Side was redone by TWL in London, and they did Bananarama, Dead or Alive, Kylie Minogue, and I went to London to do it, and um, that was the big hit song. They did a fabulous remix on it, but I wrote everything on it, words, music, and all, and um, then Only Time Will Tell, I did that as well, but um, they both became big hit songs, which I had like backup singers on Only Time Will Tell, R&B. So I made a little You bit. have the, the Orange County Housewives banner. That was the on the, the only time we'll tell contract in Anaheim and um they were my backup dancers. The backup dancers. So it was so much fun though, yeah. But I improvise. I don't like to really rehearse when I do things. Uh -huh. That's me. I like to just wing it. I'm I sort of like that with a lot of things 
you know, it can go good or bad, right? Especially <laughs> yeah. with live shows where you're like, oh my god, what just flew out of where? Well, I mean, I don't want to be boring, but to me, that's like my artistic outlet, you know, and how I am. Yeah. So I'm when I prepare for something too much, it ruins it. Yeah. I like to just go with my motion at the moment and just bam, you know. Be in and the that's moment. the way it works. Even with Grace Jones when I opened for her Paramount Studios, we did a test, of course, you know, that afternoon with the blue tank stage, you know, there they have at Paramount. Uh -huh. But that night, I was just like, I'm with two backup dancers, just don't come too close to me because I don't know what I'm going to be doing. You know, that's how I am. Yeah. And then I just go in my head and bam, I do my performance. And I, you do what you want to do, whatever, you know. That woman is absolutely amazing. Now, there is a legend. And what is, where is she today? Oh, she's around. She's in New York a lot, though. But she's always around, Grace. I mean, she's got some sort of an award. Can't remember what it was, but she's a legend, and she's never. I mean, she has such a fan base; it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, after all these years, everybody still loves Grace Jones. Absolutely.